Hello, this is Seth Wendling. Welcome to another In Car Movie Review. Today I saw the 1517 to Paris. It's about three Americans who stopped a terrorist and blow on a train from Amsterdam to Paris. And let's begin this way. Anytime you stop a terrorist from harming people, it's a win for the world. Anytime you Take the time out of your day to make someone else safer. It's a win for the world. And these guys are genuine, genuine heroes. And the English and the French and English doctors who helped is also a hero. And they deserve the highest award that the French and friends can get. And this is probably one of the worst Clint Eastwood movies I've ever seen. It was overly ham-fisted and was generally boring, genuinely boring in most of the movies. And the, uh, the, the European trip uh, was like shot like a student film. There's something we said there that Professional actors do the acting, and normal people, regular people like myself, do the watching because not everyone can be an actor. These guys, they, they, I guess they did a good job of as actors, but it just wasn't up to par against, wasn't up to par against any of the real actors in the film. And when you use regular people, your message falls short. You know, not everything is Star Search. Not everything is Survivor, where you compete for a SAG card. You know, real actors would have put this thing from a five to a nine, because the story is there. They also need to get another screenwriter because some of the lines were just damn genuinely dumb. Like, I feel that my life is hurtling toward something bigger. That's too much exposition for me. And, you know, really cheapens when it's a very good story. It just doesn't do your movie any a service. That being said, what they did was amazing. They are genuine heroes. They deserve every accolade they get. And I am thankful that we didn't have to hear another senseless, stupid terrorist act on the news. Thank you. Thank you, Spencer. Thank you, everyone for not giving us another stupid news story that will not quit. That being said, it's kind of funny that there wasn't more uh, about the heroism, heroism on news. I would like to hear more about that. And also, in the film, the teachers were portrayed like jerks, uncaring jerks. The single mothers were treated like just trash and I just think offense to both of them. My parents were teachers, I trained as a teacher and all of us really cared about all of the kids. You know, some teachers are in it for the paycheck but you shouldn't be teaching if you're in it for the paycheck. You're in it for the kids. Not, not the vacations, not the paycheck, <laughs> whatever, not the retirement. The kids, or let me tell you this, one of my best friends I was raised by a single mother who took care of his brother. He turned into a great man. He turned into a a soldier who led people who had a very responsible 
Korea in the military and not all kids with single mo from single mothers turn out bad and self medicate. A lot of them rise most of them rise to the occasion and have a great life and great career. Uh, let me get in on them. Thank you. And if you like videos like this, I'll give you more. Have a great day.